So let me let me just show you some yeah, of the things that we did here. So this door is brand new. We built this completely. Right. So and this is what you call the turret. This is the turret, and right. it's all automatic. Once we lock on, it tracks. Okay, got it. So you're saying this basically yeah. is beaming to the other plane 50, the other thing 50 is meters beaming to this beaming to this 50 meters away yeah wow this is how you this is how you get into the plane so what do you no, do not anymore. Uh, no not right. anymore oh so the way we get in now is here <laughs> so let's take a look oh. inside yep it's different it's definitely <laughs> different. wow so the turret obviously sticks out and that and the black box behind it is an optical box the white box on the top is actually the control system. The main job of the turret is to take in the laser and bring it down onto the optical bench here. You know, basically this technology is useful for not just weapon systems, but also communication. And so if you're ever on an airplane and you're using Wi-Fi, you know how agonizing that is. I do very well. <laughs> and uh, if you could replace that with a laser beam, uh, that could carry as much information as a fiber optic uh, cable, then you can could really enhance the... I could stream Netflix then. You could. Good. <laughs> you know, uh, Dr. Jumper, when, you know, you know the, the plane world's super small, right? When, when I found out that you guys were, were looking for a Falcon 10, I just jumped at the opportunity because I, I wanted to, you know, to make sure it contributed to Notre Dame and the research to enhance the mission of the university. Now, overall, I think that the... the you know, the university is here to educate people and to um, basically create knowledge, and, and that's what we do here. And so the, the skills that our graduate students get and, the, and their ability to think about problems translates to a lot of things. This stuff that we're doing in this airplane is really enabling technology. It's one of the last uh, big hurdles that has to be solved in order to be able to do free space communication. We are it. Notre Dame is the place for aero optics. Our work here is critical to moving this technology forward.